I know a lot of you have been asking about the emissions on the Peugeot. So at the moment we're running it on old engine oil, mix of old engine oil and a little bit of petrol. I've had quite a few comments on what the, whether it would pass a diesel emissions test. Now in the UK we have something called an MOT test, um, which is basically a yearly test to make sure the cars are roadworthy, checking for corrosion, uh, tire wear, brakes, lights, and emissions, among other things. It's basically, with diesels, it measures the amount of soot coming out of the exhaust. And uh, the older the car is, the more lenient the test is. Um, but there are still limits. And obviously, my Peugeot, being 30 odd years old, fortunately for me, lies in the more lenient category. A lot of modern stuff, um, DPFs and things like that, the limits are so tiny you can barely see any smoke coming out of them. Normally when you look at the exhaust you can tell it's got DPF because the exhaust tip is completely clear. Um, so I'm going to get this in and see whether it will pass the test or not. So, car's in, it's all running. Um, just warming it up to measure the oil temperature. Um, if I click on that, we should see we're currently at 45 degrees. So we've got a little bit to go yet. Um, ideally, it should be about 80 degrees. So I'm going to just let this idle for a bit, warm up. And um, basically, the warmer the engine is, the less smoke that there should be. Now, in the UK, most manufacturers will give a car a plate value, which is its limit of diesel emissions. And if I have a quick look around, I don't think I've got one. Oh, yes, I do. So the limit of mine should be 2.01. That'll be coming off for the MOT if this gets close. <laughs> if it's not there, you test to a default limit that's 3.5, and I think it's 3.5 parts per million. I may stand to be corrected. Um, but yeah, we're going to... Uh, I mean, if I show you the exhaust smoke as well at the moment. So, as you can see, it's, it is pretty clean. There is... You can't really make it out in the camera. There is a little bit of a blue haze. The longer it idles, the more haze there seems to be. Uh, I'm going to let this warm up a little bit and I'll come back to you when the temperature is a little bit higher. There we go. I've got a unit that I put in to read the engine RPM. It's that little black box there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is put the probe in. Now this box analyzer has a uh, laser going through the middle of it. And what it does is it picks up a sample of the smoke, goes through the pipe and uh, measures, I'm pretty sure it's parts per million, but it, I might I stand to be corrected on that. Basically measures how much smoke is going through, sets a limit of three for this age of vehicle and uh, do that and run round. Let's see if the Peugeot will pass an emissions test whilst running on used engine oil. That looks pretty good from the first pull. It's already green. It's close to the limit. If I was testing to the plate value, which isn't there, uh, things might be different. That's really good. I am quite impressed. It takes an average of the best three of six. So because all three pass straight, straight away, um, yeah, we're all good. So yeah, the answer is running a running a diesel engine, an old diesel engine on used engine oil, it will still pass an MOT. Now I might add that this it's not pure the engine oil. Um, it is uh, yeah, pass. Uh, I'm not going to save that because I'm not bothered. Let's turn it off for now. Um, I might add that obviously my the oil I've got in this the engine oil is cut with petrol um, just to thin it out a bit um, I'm guessing that has a cleaning effect maybe I don't know I don't know enough of the science behind it but say so there's a lot of people asked whether it would pass an MOT like that and um, well you've seen clearly it does so thank you for watching uh, any questions any comments hit me up down below and I'll see you next time